the thing that really impresses me is just how rich the world is. It's not just like it's not like we're just following one little storyline mm -hmm. and, and everything comes out from that. There's a world that has been created and exists, and then we just hone in on different storylines. So it, it doesn't feel artificial. It doesn't feel even like it's just a made-up story. It, it really feels like real life. You get so invested in them because there's so much story behind them. Um, the weather. <laughs> but even the weather's quite good. You know, at times, at times. Any of the days I was with Christian and who played Hodor, we had a lot of fun. Um, I, think, I think he had less fun than I did because I was annoying him, but I found it very funny. Uh, and he loves me, really. Um, in terms of a really great scene was when I got to be touched by the Night King. That was like, wow, I'm actually here with the Night King. And he's not killing me, so... <laughs> <laughs> Wow, deep question. <laughs> what have I learned about me? I've learned I'm not good in the cold. Because <laughs> there are a lot, of, a lot of times in the cold. I, I mean, I've made this point a lot of times today. Someone said this to me, like, you, you keep going on about the weather. I think that's probably what I've learned from working with Game of Thrones, is that cold weather and rain is not my friend. I think I'd like to be Jamie Lannister, just because a, he gets to do a bit of sword fighting, and he's like a really cool action character, which I've never experienced, but such an interesting story arc. You know, it'd be really fun to play pushing that kid out the window um, to begin with, and then sort of his dilemmas and internal conflicts, and him having to deal with the fact that he's lost, you know, his main... The, the, this was something that's defined him for all his life, so I think that'd be... He's such a complex character. I'd love to play him.